Yo, what's going on everyone, and welcome to another installment, the last installment of the Truck Championship mode. Well, I guess not if you're watching this on YouTube. The last stream of it, I should say. So, we have the Lucas Oil 150 here at ISM, first and foremost. The second to last race of the season, and then we have Homestead right after. Whew. We have 15 points separating first through fourth right now. Currently, I am the points leader. Talladega did shake up everything. But here we are, starting 15th at ISM. Hands down, one of my worst tracks. Whew. I have no idea what to expect out of today. Griffins, David, how are you guys doing today? Thank you all so much for coming on out. Like I said, David, thank you so much for the resub. W welcome back for seven continuous months, my dude. And hopefully, chat, I can just put up a good show for you. Hopefully, we can bring home this title. That's what will make this stream the best. Like I said, we have 15 points separating by a first through fourth. So, uh, chat, let's get into it. Let's just let's just go straight in. Oh, actually, default setup, of course. We gotta we gotta play fair, you know. Default setup. Also, because I couldn't actually find a good custom setup to use. So, yeah, now let's get into it. So, I see that Stuart Friesen starting in the back. Originally, first through fourth was, uh, first, second, and third in the, in the standings was first, second, and third, literally. All right, chat, well, here we go. We're going to have a good run here on the, uh... On the inside here, gonna duck down as soon as we cross the start finish line. Try to get a good run, and it looks like we're gonna get that. Stay on the bottom here. Car That's outside. exactly what we need first and foremost. Kind of park the bus. Ooh, okay. All right, you know what? That's fine. You know what? Start off a little bit of nose damage. You know, just as Natalie Decker does. Wouldn't be a Natalie Decker kind of race without that. Oh, but I can just tell right now, this thing is tight. Three wide already. Truck's going in the inside, and truck's going on the outside. Kind of throw it in there, kind of cut off Kyle Benjamin real quick. What did I miss this week? Oof, duh. You missed the, uh... You missed Las Vegas and, um... Uh, Talladega. Oof. Oh my god, this thing is an absolute tight tightness. And then, yeah, there was a, um, yesterday there was a uh, doubleheader on a Thursday. That was fun to do. We had Las Vegas and uh, Talladega. And when Griffin says it was good, you know it was good. Yes, we also had a, uh, a literal point zero zero one win. Got a car low now. It's on uh, YouTube right now. I'm stuck on the outside. I need I need something to change here. Stay high. Stay this is high. not very beneficial for the points leader. Because I do not want to go into a homestead with a, uh, Stay high. a potential must win. But yeah. David, you missed uh, quite a quite fair amount but like that honestly it was all Halo, pretty fine Halo. three wide here kind of just kind of just chillax Careful, a little bit kind of take it easy we have we have time it's only lap five here i do need to keep an eye out for uh sewer freeze and looks like he's right there he is flying got a car high now here chat just give me one hot second I know I don't usually don't do this. My headphones are like flickering right now, so like it makes it sound like it's actually like staticky. Give me one hot second, okay? That will work. All right. Sorry about that. I know I usually don't try to pause in the race, but give me one hot second. Like this is actually kind of annoying. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. Oh. Okay, I can hear everything now. Perfect, okay. Technical oh, difficulties. I have no idea why my headset decided to uh, literally just start throwing static at me. So I had to adjust that. You know, as you do, as you do. 
But yeah, how is everyone doing today? We have a wonderful doubleheader coming for you guys. There is Stuart Friesen, currently second in the points. And we need to be on the lookout for him. Got one inside. Griffins, literally at point zero zero one win. Yeah, literally blew your mind. Honestly, I'm so glad that did, man. I was excited. Literally, that was our first win in the uh, truck championship mode, and I was pumped. I was, <laughs> I was ass blasting that uh, th those last two laps, and to win it by point zero zero one, that was storybook right there. Point zero zero one, the closest that I have ever finished a race. So this this race, on the other hand, I need to make some definite adjustments. That was a great lap. This is not very not very uh, representative of what my real pace is, because as you can see. I can run a 26.5 easy. Well, that's what, what, what the customs have. Let me say that right now. That should be the must watch. Oh my. Oh man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a highlight of that and put it as my YouTube trailer. So like when people see that, that so they, they know what's going to happen. They know what's in the store. But yeah, we're capable of running like a in the 27.5, so we definitely just need to just be consistent and we'll move our way forward. Because 20th right now, this is just a minor setback. Montage, there we go. I'm honestly thinking about doing that. I Whether I have time or not is the another thing, but like on YouTube, do like a, uh, a truck championship uh, mode montage, because literally this season is insane. Having four drivers with two races left with separate between 15 points All right, you're clear. anything can happen oh is that gonna be a caution please let that be a caution Yellow flag. yes thank god okay I need I need I need to pit here now what I'm gonna do is my lefts are literally so good I can just take rights. I need to lower this wedge. Oh my god, I am tight. Um, I, th I honestly think that should be fine. Yeah. Do that and that and we're good. Yeah, I, I need to make some adjustments. This needs, this needs a change. Okay, so yes, we're restarting 28th. That's fine. We're fine. Coming to the green. Be ready. Green now. Let's go. All right, let's see how this goes. We're restarting in the outside here, so it's definitely not the best, but it's not the worst either. So we're going to get a good run going into turn one here. We're going to go on the outside and see how, how much we can kind of pull through. Kind of gas it up early. Coast a little bit. Default setup at uh, ISM is literally undrivable. Oh, I know, but that's what makes it hard because. Ooh, mama. Who just. Was that Corbin Ford? Or was that, or was that Travis Quabble? Someone just straight up dumped us. All clear. Well, it definitely feels looser, I'll say that. Inside. And that's good. But yeah, you, no, you're right. You're absolutely correct. I mean, default uh, default setups at uh, ISM is undrivable. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Gets us to go down low. I'll just say that. But here we are. Stay low. Outside, outside. What's up, Hurley? How are you doing today? How's the race going? Well, we just started. You're just in time, man. Nobody dumps Natalie Decker without retribution. I know. Whoever dumps Natalie uh, record gets wrecked herself. As you all know. Careful, still there. There we go. This should be a decent lap. Ah, I guess not. It's because I'm sucking traffic, honestly. That's what I'm going to blame here. 
Stay low. Got one up top. All clear. Oh yeah, now, okay, now we're getting in the groove. Car high, careful. All right, but yeah, how is everyone doing today? Happy Friday, everyone. Beginning of the weekend is Auto Club Week. What is going on? Stay on the bottom. You're racing a bit? Nice. Clear high. Clear high. What are you racing at right now? A Friday with no truck race? What's the point of it being Friday? Well, that's what I'm here for. Literally, I made some schedule adjustments. This was supposed to be a 2020 Cup Series race at uh, Texas uh, tonight, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm feeling in a very truck mood. So let's uh, let's just finish up the truck championship mode. All clear. Hold your line, got one outside. Oh yeah, that was that was a bit of a ballsy maneuver. It didn't it didn't quite work, but uh, it looked cool. Dega, nice man. Still there. Oh, this race is gonna be a grind. I can just tell right now. Stay on the bottom here. Still there. You're just after the 100K? Oh my god. The 100K and uh, supposedly the um, the team owner for Stuart Friesen is now uh, putting up 50K for if a uh, truck regular can beat uh, Kyle Busch. So literally anywhere there is, <laughs> if a truck regular or a cup regular wins, this thing is going to be a story. And this gets more eyes on the truck series. Hey, that's perfect. Trucks are awesome. They deserve the love. That did 3% damage. That was a love tap. About to race Xfinity, uh, Xfinity and Cup of Dega. Man, you got, you're plowing through Dega. so much fun. We just did that yesterday. Finished second. So, you know, it was a solid run. Solid run. We're moving our way forward. Look at that. Not only that, but we do have a bit of Got fuel advantage. Top. That could be beneficial for us in the long run. I don't know how this race is going to turn on out, so better play it safe, you know? Pit early and get fuel. We're playing the long game. Yeah, we're starting to gain up on these... Uh, on these truckers here. But yeah, um, Chris, uh, the uh, owner of uh, Halmar Friesen Racing, is uh, putting up a 50k reward for anyone that, uh, any truck regular that can beat Kyle. And then of course you have the 100k for any cup uh, regular that can do it. And that is just insane. I'm so glad that stuff like that is happening. Get eyes on the truck series because it is so much fun. I love the truck series. I really do. God, awesome. Awesome. So, what are you doing, my dude? Four wide, that was. Calm down. No respect for the points leader. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Got one outside. Stay low, stay low. Stay low, stay low. Alright, looks All like right. uh, lefts and rights are All almost right, evened out now. Alright, you're clear. He was in a rush, I know. Yeah, rush back to get up to uh, 19th and just kind of sit there. Good talk. All right, well, 30 laps in. Brett Moffitt is absolutely demolishing us, and that is not good. Ooh. After his subpar performance, 
in uh, Talladega. He is now fourth in the standings. Uh, Joey's Auto Club scheme may be your favorite. Oh, well, I mean, considering that uh, the AAA uh, is always really good, man. I mean, honestly, I'm not, you know I'm not a Joey Logano fan, but that scheme looks good. That scheme definitely slaps. Okay, don't mind me, Raphael. We're going places. Outside, outside. Inside. Keep drifting up right there when I don't want to. Okay, so in the middle, so in the middle, so in the middle. Back on out. Hang tight there, driver. Oh outside. my god, who was that? Who was that? Christian Eckes, was that you? Okay, still in the middle, still in the middle. Come on. Uh, ISM is... Okay, Chad, I cannot stress this enough. ISM is so hard. Like, it is so gosh dang hard. Hold your line. Got one inside. All right, you're clear. Like, literally, I don't know what to do. Default setup is so impossible. Ugh. I am struggle bussing really hard to get up here. All right, you're clear. Oh, because they just... Well, do you see that? How they just gas it up in the middle of the corner and get underneath you? Ugh. Oh, yeah, all the Kobe uh, paint schemes are really good. Go, Christian. You know what? I'm not even. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. You know what? You Yellow get dumped flag. sometimes, so that that's what happens. You throw a dumb move like that, you get dumped. All right. Well, you know what? Everyone's pitting, so I might as well pit. We just gotta keep going with it, you know. So we have Brett Moffat in first. St Ross, ooh, okay, Stuart Freeze and Matt Crafton, 11th and 12th. So there's still hope for us, chat. Still hope, still hope. Um, oh God, I don't even know. I guess I gotta lower this? Yeah, let's try that and roll with it. I believe the troll car will become the two next year because I believe Brad is leaving. leaving. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. So Parker Kligerman gets uh, moved to the uh, front. Still there. Whoa, Clay Greenfield, you can't just stop, man. Got one kicking inside. Unpopular opinion. I'm over the Kobe tribute. Ah. Inside. I think it's just because it's in California. That's why it's there. So like, it makes sense why. So, chat, ISM is all about track position, but with everyone pitting right there, gotta I gotta get now. to the bottom. Everyone is so gosh dang aggressive. Chat, help! Send help! Stay in line. Hold your line. Clear high, bud. Got one peeking inside. Everyone just keeps poking their nose down in there. We gotta, we gotta do something. Hang tight there, driver. Three wide. Got one down low now. Oof. Send help. Hold the wheel. Come on. <laughs> oh, chat. Outside. Chad, I sound, it sounds like I'm having like a nervous breakdown because I kind of am with the amount of harsh racing that I'm trying to do in here. Still there. Got one up top.
Okay. Still there. All right, you're clear. I mean, it just depends on who you talk to, honestly. Is that Christian Eckes? No, it's Raphael Lassard. Okay, that's fine. I think Brad uh, had enough of Joey. I believe uh, Penske is uh, giving Joey and Ryan all around better stuff. I don't know. Let's ask our resident Penske boy. David, what do you think? What's your hot take on that? Get 20th. Kind of get a little bit of breathing space, honestly. That's just what I need is a little bit of breathing space. Just give me a break. Whew. Whew. Brad is as good as gone. Oh, interesting. Okay. Do you think he'll go to Hendrick, my guy? There we go. That's a, that's a hot lap. Still there. Careful. Get around, Jumper Joe Cobb. All right, you're clear. And the race is uh, right uh, near LA. So yeah, Cindric to the two. That's what I've been hearing, honestly. Rumor mill playing around. Careful, still there. You think he will take over the 48? I mean, who knows? I would, I wouldn't mind seeing it because I know Mr. Uh, Mr. Hendrick would want to see a uh, a veteran in that in that seat. So it makes sense. Car outside. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Got one inside. I can't get down fast enough. Just backing out. Hold your line. Got one outside. There's, there's no clear. stopping when you get uh, side by side like that. Still there. Yeah, you're not getting to the inside of me, Josh Ram. So, what's the hold up here? We have Parker Klingerman up here and not really doing a whole lot. You do believe that uh, Brad got the short end of the crew swaps? I mean, I can see it. I mean, it's definitely uh, something that was bound to happen sooner or later. Now, do you think it's just a crew swap, or do you think it's something more? Power outside. Hold your line. Here goes Tyler Ingram. 
Up into 16th. Okay, this is what we need. We need to pick up positions like this. Still there. You got room. You're clear. Car outside. Hold your line. All clear. We have a huge pack of trucks behind us, though. One misstep and we're going backward. Got a car high now. Inside. You got room. Probably You're backstage clear. politics. I mean, well, I, hopefully not. Never was quite a fan of that. Car outside. All right, clear outside. Got one ticket inside. All right, you're clear. All right. Someone needs to get by Parker Clearman. Someone just do it. Careful, still there. Come on. Don't even check. Just give me a little room. There we go. Bottom's looking good. Car outside. Hold your line. All right, clear outside. Oh, we still have like 50 laps to go on the this set of tires. No. Yeah, I, I saw Austin when uh, self was going down low there. Why did I go to the high side? Still there. Chad, I'm trying to make something happen here. We have an entire wall of trucks trying to get by Parker Kligerman, and it is just not working. Careful, still there. I mean, if you think about it. Uh, Brad's been on the decline for uh, outside, outside. On the for a while now. Definitely not as good as he's been. All clear. Okay, this is what we need. Get past Matt Craft and oh, that's how we start losing spots here. There's Ross. Careful, still there. Still there. Inside. Bottom free. Use it if you need it. Car on the outside now. Stay low. Don't think Brad's been happy with Penske lately? I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. Still there. When they think they're faster than what uh, they know they can be, I mean, it makes 100% sense, you know? Still there. Bottom's looking good. Parker Clearman is just literally being a moving roadblock here. No one can get past him. Still there. Car outside. Car on the outside now. Clear high, bud. Car outside. Come on, someone just get side by side with him, knock him to the high side, and just get past him. Brett Moffat's coming, chat. No. Went too deep. I'm. 
Chad, I'm trying to make something happen, and it's just not, it's just not working. Hold your line. Stay high. Hold your line. Got one inside. Got one inside. You leave the bottom, and you get just freight trained. Oh, finally, uh, we get to the outside of parking. We can actually start rolling now. You got a drone coming in the mail tomorrow. Dang, man, how much did that cost you? Two seventy five, dang man. Yeah, Penske starts out the season well. And oh, usually no. like a uh, one or two teams like Joey is uh pretty good in, during the summer stretch, but then they, they start picking up again towards the latter half. And that's just the Penske shuffle, you know? Still there. Outside, outside. Ooh. What the heck happened there with Gustine? Could have ended my day. Careful, still there. Got one up top. It's a limited edition still Monster Energy version? Dang! Careful, still there. Clear high, clear high. Finally. Car outside. Hold your line. Tires are dead, but you know what? We're rolling. Oh, you bought Rowdy Energy? Is that uh, in the mail as well, or is that already there? Looking inside now. Come on. Ugh. Leave one space open, and they're just like, Nyah. Staying high up here. My spot. Car My outside. lane. Now we're three wide. Three wide on top. It's not bad. Interesting, okay. Got one down low now. I heard that it's basically just uh, Red Bull. Was it, wait, or is that Rich Energy? I think that's just Rich Energy. My bad, never mind. Ignore me. Got one inside. All clear. It tastes good, but it's too pricey. Stay on the bottom here. Interesting. Penske becomes junk uh, halfway through the year because uh, Penske teams get better and they just don't keep up. Well, David, what do you have to say to that? I think I generally agree, except really it's just one team who uh, starts faltering. Well, there's Brad Moffat. Not what we wanted to see at all. Like, literally, at all. Bramoff being fourth in points, you know, we he's having a good day, and I'm not. Inside. All right, clear low. Well, leave him room, I guess. He's going to get me eventually, so. Still there. Pick up these spots through uh, strategy. Just gotta, just gotta get some fresh air, and we'll get there. Two Penske cars made the round of 16 last year. Round of eight, exactly. That's what I'm saying is that they kind of dip in the middle of the year, but uh, they pick back up at the end. So they start off good dip and then pick it back up you know that's that's my argument a 
I'm so far too tight. My uh, front uh, tire is uh, wearing faster than the rear. I'm so far too tight. Need to pick up the pace somehow and find some kind of speed. Yeah, I won the championship two years ago. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so we have halfway halfway down, halfway to go. This time by. 30 left in the tank. All right, halfway to left. I think you're just using last year as the example. In the previous years, they've been really strong. They're Hurley. I mean, last year wasn't the best, but like, you know, every team has their off here, you know? Stay low, stay low. All right, I think we're finding, the, finding a little bit of speed now. That as I overdrive turn four. We don't make the round of eight by accident. I mean, I'm a Chase Elliott fan. You guys know that. But Brad Keselowski literally choked away the round of eight. I'm just being honest here. <laughs> I don't even know. I think he's still in the top 10 somewhere, honestly. Keep an eye out behind me, looking for a steward freeze. And again, he's second in points right now. He's honestly one of the main guys I need to worry about. Because, yes, Brett Moffitt's leading, but he was 15 points back to me. Okay? So, even if I finish exactly where I am right now, we're going to be still not in as deep of a hole. Ben Rose. I'm just going to let him go. Inside. Be nice about this. Not racing him. Careful. Still there. Drifting up in uh, three and four right there. We're going to get to the inside of Gustine for 19th. Man, sounds so enthused to uh, be talking about 19th. You know, just classic private patent things on a Friday night. You know, oh yeah, 19th, let's go. They really choke it on up in three and four, don't they? May have to go slow and fast out. So, like, this is going to be another uh, one of those races. Just got to get him at the right time. Because we're running at, like, almost identical times. Hmm. 
wibbly wobbly. What am I doing on tape? Oh, I can, I can plaster that thing with tape and, and call it fine. Still there. Had it back on out. My entry uh, to turn one was too shallow. Still there. Okay, just got a block low, and we should be fine from Christian. There we go. NASCAR fixes races because Joey, uh, because Joey Championship win, uh, the yellow shouldn't have come out. Well, coulda, shoulda, woulda. I mean, that was 2018. Okay, Sheldon, calm down. I see you, I see you. Careful, still there. Oh, I see Stewart all the way back there. <laughs> this is all over my head. Yeah, Griffins, you haven't you haven't been watching in quite some time, so it makes sense. I mean, NASCAR doesn't fix races, man. They just have really bad official calls, you know? I mean, it happens. I mean, even in the modern day, like, it still happens. Sometimes your uh, driver wins races, sometimes they lose it because of a, of a bad call. All right, Chad, so when are we gonna pit here? We're slated to pit well over lap 100, but the caution, I, it looks like my tires can actually go a little bit a distance. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, because there is definitely a risk of staying out too long. I can lose a lot of track position. Yeah, exactly, that's sports in general. Exactly. Like I said, sometimes you your driver wins races because of a call, and sometimes they don't. It doesn't mean they fix races. No, that's 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 just not right. Your gap was from uh, 2010 to uh, 2017 with MTJ. Yeah, exactly. So essentially, you missed like a good chunk of. Uh, the car tomorrow, etc. Playoff chase format. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, so Chad, do I uh, ever pit early or do I pit late? Uh, I think, I think I want to stay out extra long because I'm I'm a lap down. There's no benefit to pitting early. Since I'm so far down already, I should just honestly just stick it out. Even though I did fix races, uh, why would they choose Joey over Harvick? <laughs> Literally, nobody hates Harvick. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, who is this? Oh, that's Christian, I guess. Oh. <laughs> we passed him. I'm just like, oh, who is this behind me? <laughs> My dumb ass over here. Now, that just sounds like a conspiracy theory right there. They don't pick and choose that, man. As as big of a story as that would be, they they don't, man. They do 
what 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 they do is they ma embellish things in order to make a bigger deal out of it. I mean, hell, look at uh, look at what's going on with the hundred uh, K right now. Whoa, hello, Granite Finger. I did not was not expecting you to make a move right there. Well, the thing is, even with a suspended uh, crew chief, like that doesn't mean they're told. That just means they can't be on track. They still have video calls and all that. They, you can still talk to the crew chief. It's like Brett Moffat's pitting. Wait. Ooh, that's early. Ooh, okay. If a caution comes out in this time frame, hey, we're back in it, chat. So yeah, there definitely is a benefit to staying out late here. Got one peeking inside. It's Johnny Sarr to the lead. Car there on the inside. Winning with a suspended crew chief is a pretty good story. They should have, they should have fixed it for that. Exactly, and that just goes for the argument of why races aren't fixed. Oh, yeah, I should not be uh, racing Stuart Friesen right now. Just let it go. So, Brett Moffat pit super early. He is right back there. If a caution comes out, hey, we're back in business. Okay, so pit stops are now in full swing. What we're going to do, our strat is to go as long as we can. As long as our tires will allow us, or fuel, whatever comes first. Your tires are getting pretty bad. Okay, early. The car in front of you is coming to the pit. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about something else. Chad, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the possibility of a caution coming out. That Now, that, that sounds like fun. Let's talk about that. Hypothetically, what if a caution comes out and we're now back in business? Mm, now, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be what dreams are made of right there. That was a thing. So it looks like Austin Hill blew an engine, but did not bring out the no yellow. Tires down, driver. Change the subject because uh, I went personal. What? What happened? Oh, Griffins, I'm sorry. I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just done with uh, talking about NASCAR is rigged, honestly. That, that, that's what I was talking about. Farther on the inside. Well, there goes Brett. You're wearing those tires down, driver. You're almost out of gas. All right, next time, next time. What were you talking about?
All right, so this time, let's just get this over with. Watch your speed, please. Tires are getting bald. There we go. Um, God, I don't even know what to do anymore. Um, we only have 46 laps left. Might as well just loosen it up. Put, slap a little more tape on it and call it a day, I guess. Water break. Ah, I see, I see. Ah, okay. And not even, not even a timeout. Mm, David, you need to get better at that. Mm. I'm kidding. It was at your discretion, man. You're clear on pit road. Ah, well, there's 20th right now. Hold your line, got one outside. All right, so 21st, one lap down. By right, pressure tires and one, so we're good. We're good. So we have, what, like 45 laps left or something like that? We're in 20th right now. We have Christian Eckes in front of us, but we are gaining on him, so that's good. And we are actually hitting our marks. Got a new fastest lap there. That's all we need. All we can really ask for. We just got Lady Luck be on our side here. Ouch, recommending a timeout. I could have meant the church piano. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> I get you. I get you. I'm I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Griffins, how many points are you at right now? Out of curiosity. David, how many points are you at right now? Yeah, we are we are gaining, so that's good. So I just when I get back on the gas, it just gets tight. It just doesn't want to turn. 13k only? Careful, still there. Not enough. Only 21.7. Well, yeah. Okay, you know what? Well, the thing is, chat, with these double headers, you guys are getting your points worth. And hopefully I'm providing a decent enough race to watch as well. Because let's be honest here. I know you guys are here just for the 75k points. <laughs> that's fine. You. That's fine. We're all good here. But in all honesty, I cannot thank you guys enough for... All stopping on out and watching me, uh, watching me turn left here in 20th place. <laughs> Not the penultimate race I wanted, but it may be just the one that, uh, we're forced to get. Because Lady Luck just is not on our side tonight, I guess. But we still have Homestead after this. Still have Homestead. And that race, I do actually have a, uh, a uh, custom setup I want to try on out. Oh, 
All right, so we, ha like I said, we are in 20th place right now. Oh. I don't know. I had an exhausting day, chat. School was rough today. I had no idea. I guess it must have been with the snow day yesterday and um, it being a Friday. Just got the kids all kinds of riled up. Because they would just, they were just all over the place. B literally bouncing off the walls. No, I mean like they were pushing each other off and they were like playing like pinball. I have no idea why. Literally bouncing off the walls. Yeah, it was just a long day, so I'm glad to be here, though. Every day I can uh, I can stream for you guys, uh, the better my day gets a little bit, so I like to be here. No better way to spend a Friday night, if you uh, ask me. So we have Gustine here. Looks like we have Mason Massey... Uh, holding it one up. Or is that Josh Rium? No, it's actually Parker Kligerman. It's uh, none of the above. No, it's Corbin Forrester. It is none of the above. You have an exhausting day every day? Night shift, school, and my internship? Uh, my student teaching, yeah. It is... It's a lot to do. And then plus I do this on the side, so, like, whew. Boy, howdy. I could go for some clam chowdy. Alright, so that's 19th, so that's good. All right, you're clear. Yeah, it is. Inside. It is a rough day every day in, my, in the life of Private Patton. But I pull through because I know there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so that's 19th right now. With a little over 30 laps to go. I ignore this because you love... Okay. Anywho's it. So we have 18 directly in front of us. 30 laps to go. Brent Moffitt is right behind us in order to uh, put us two down. But I'm honestly not even that worried. My question is, when do I sleep? Okay, so my days start at 6 o'clock in the morning and end at 1 o'clock at night. So... Like, 1.30 is usually when I fall asleep. And I get back up at 6. I live for the weekends. I'll just say that. Or I guess more specifically, uh, Saturday. So, hey, that's usually when I sleep until, like, 11.30. And, uh, just have a right old time, because it, it's Xfinity Day, one of my favorite series. And, um, yeah, I get just to chillax and catch up on whatever I need to do. All right, so is Clay Greenfield as well? Oh, that's 17th. Okay. Chad, we have 17th on the horizon. I also feel like there's going to be one more caution. And the question will be, since I'm already a lap down, do I take the lucky dog? Or not lucky dog. Uh, do I take the wave round? Or do I pit? Depending on what when this actually happens. Because it looks like we're about to get Christian Eckes here pretty soon. Got me beat. I'd sleep uh, like at 11, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., 8 p.m. to uh, 12, yeah. Well, I mean, I know your schedule is also pretty wonky, so. Hey, two peas, uh, two peas in a pod, right? And with David's trucker schedule, that's, uh, three. He's always making a crowd. I right, should get below Christian Eckes here. 
Yakis. Still there. Kind of drift him on up the track a little bit. Get a good run off. All clear. There we go. All right, so that's 18. Chad, we're making. Oh, and not a real trucker. Oh, well, not a real trucker, but still. Night shift for the win, exactly. Graveyard shift for me. <laughs> the ultimate bromance. I'm like FedEx for the big for the big stuff. But still. Uh, now see, David, don't let him fool you. He's trying to give brownie points with the mod. Don't fall for his tricks. Well, it's working. Ooh, dang, that... My truck just wanted to straight up just go straight right there. Like, I was just not even turning anymore. Got one down low now. Car there on the inside. Ooh. On I didn't realize that was Johnny Sauter right there. That's a battle for the lead. No, Johnny Sauter, go get him. Take that win away from Brett Moffitt. Because if Brett Moffat wins this race, that's five extra points that he has right there. Turned off all of so he fought for the first time using red 4424 for setup. And the tires were screaming by the end of the race. Truck's hella loose. Which one, uh, which, which track are you at, Nero? Which, by the way, welcome to the stream, my dude. Come on, Clay Greenfield, get out of the way of Johnny. He needs to get up there to Brett Moffitt. Kansas? Oh, man. Kansas is so much fun. Honestly, what uh, you need is um, just run the run the high side. Because Kansas, literally, it's a one-lane track, and it's up at the wall. It's weird, but it's true. You do not make good lap time on the bottom. Oh, and we have Odux. Welcome to the stream, man. Ooh, yeah, dang. That just went straight right there. Just stopped turning. I was hitting 31.9s uh, at the bottom. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, when your tires start wearing, you go up to the top. Because you carry more speed, and it actually allows your tires to uh, not wear as fast. Yeah, I, I actually agree with David. Like, Red 4424 is, uh, like, the setup's good for, like, a like a short race. Like, for, like, a pro league uh, lobby type of thing. Oh, what's going on? Nothing much. Just running a double header right now, getting done with the truck championship mode. Top four is separated by 15 points going into this race. We're not having the best race right now. We're in 18th, but Brett Moffat, who is fourth, is actually winning this race, and I don't know. Johnny Sawyer is my only hope of taking that away, that win away from him. In the meantime, I'm hoping for a caution. Hoping and praying.
Someone get Claire Greenfield off the track, please. Oh, well, someone uh, get Christian Eckes off the track. He's caused nothing but problems to me today. Like, literally, I don't dump people, but I dumped them because of how many times he uh, he uh, dive bombed me going into three here. I'm a very passive guy, and I dumped him. I was getting sick of it. But yeah, going into this race, I was a championship leader. I can almost guarantee I am not going to be that when uh, I get done with the race. But we have one more race to do after this. We have Homestead, and it is up for anyone's... For, up to anyone right now. Is there anything better in the world than... Uh, than Choco Tacos. I have no idea what that even is, but it sounds delicious. You see, I'm from the Midwest. We don't have that here. Had to go. We have Taco Bell. That's about it. Alright, so we should be uh, side by side with Clay Greenfield going into one. Careful, still there. Oh, I guess not. A Choco Taco is a drumstick in the shape of a taco. Man, that sounds amazing. Careful, still there. Stay on the bottom. Come on, Clay. Give, cut me some slack here. Also, Wisconsin is Midwest, but okay. Yeah, you're right. I rest my case. No further questioning. Pronto, Sebastian. Let the Greg buy. What's up, TA? How you doing today? Just in time for the end of the first race of the, this doubleheader. Man, I I almost do not want to know what the uh, points look like after this. Because I know we're not coming out with a championship lead. I dumped Clay Greenfield earlier for getting in the way. <laughs> nice. Like I said, I, I dumped Christian Eckes, so yeah. Ever had any gas station in Ohio would have it? Really? I must not go to the luxury gas stations. I just go to the ones that get robbed every, like, five minutes. You have not streamed in a while? What are you talking about? I was literally on uh, for a double header yesterday. I was on for three hours, my dude. What were you doing? You just incriminated yourself? <laughs> nah. Nah, son. You were? Yeah, I've been live every day this week. What have you been doing? Any Walmart or grocery store would happen to? Okay, well. There we go. Yeah, see, Nero gets it. Nier is a true fan. He knows my schedule. But, um... Yeah. 
You don't see your life? Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. We have a whole nother race after this, so we're fine. <laughs> At Twitter. All right, whoa, is it, did I just get the two to go right now? Oh, wow, man, this race is just blown by. Well, I guess 17th just was not in the cards for us today. I am doing my damnedest to uh, try to get by uh, Clay Greenfield, but yeah, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Now, what do we, what, the real question is, as Brett Mop is coming off of turn four, literally finishing in like 23rd at Dega to winning this race and most likely gonna be leading the points. What is going to be the point situation like when we come across the line in 18th? Uh, that's not good. It's not good. You might have had to, you might have had to have dumped him like uh, I did, I guess. But like, that's not cool, man. Speed rating of 99. Oh my god, I hate default setups. I hate, especially at ISM. I hate default setups so much. But you know what? Oh yeah, that's where I got dumped by Travis Quaffle. <laughs> I forgot that happened. Um, all right, but yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what the damage is. Well, I guess I should see where everyone else is first. Oh, Matt Crafton with a top 10. Ross with a top 10. Seward Freeze in fifth. Oh my god, why does my life suck, why does my life suck so much? Chat, I am guessing we went from first to fourth in one race. 99, what is this? Me? Chat, yeah, you guys have seen my speed ratings. I usually get like 103, 405. This sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see. You know I had a bad race when I had, when I pulled numbers like that. Um, so let's see here. Moment of truth. Okay, th sir. So third. Okay, 15 points still separate first and fourth. And technically. Ross Chastain has no actually not even not even that No, actually Ross Chastain is still mathematically in it Technically All right, so 15 points still separate first through uh, fourth I need to beat Brett Moffat by nine positions And I need to beat Stuart Friesen by five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go, chat. We got this. Fast slap by Jordan Anderson. I'm calling BS on that time. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brett Moffat was just so good this race. On the move was Stuart Friesen. He needed to do what he needed to do, man. First and second right there. And Spencer Boyd. Well, no one cares about Spencer Boyd. Okay. So, moving on. Um, we have, oh, I'm going to show everyone that I, uh, running here. For you to win, you need to win. Brett Moffat has, uh, to place ninth and Friesen has to place sixth. So, well, I mean, it's all going to come down to this. Like, literally. But first, let me, uh, show you all my settings. So, I don't know why, but ISM literally burns through tires. And there is, like, no way to stop it. So, I put less wear on. And I still finished 18th. <laughs> So that just shows how difficult ISM is. It's like Iowa and New Ham no, not even, not even New Hampshire. What's another one where it's just like literally impossible to race on? Um, what was like one that like? Oh well, I guess New Hampshire because that just, that track just sucks. But yeah. Um, and then of course all this fun stuff here. You never changes apart from the, the less tire wear. 